All right. Before I get into the main explanation of this video, as well as to try to save the time of people who already know a majority of this information, Mirage Prime, which is the Capture the Flag and Tag Run exclusive map for Mirage, as well as Dunes, are both changed in the test place right now with massive visual and structural changes with an emphasis on getting rid of the historic spawn trap on both maps that not only makes 100 kill games easy to get, but 200 kill games possible for the very small percent of the player base able to achieve those games. As of right now, 15 out of 25 of the highest kill games on record have either been done on Mirage Prime or Dunes. This is mainly due to both of these maps relying on very little positioning and rotation, unlike maps like Metro and Warehouse, where maintaining a consistent spawn trap means that you'll have to run around the entire time and keep the enemy team corralled in, whereas Dunes and Mirage currently rely on staying in one spot and controlling visible spawns, quite literally watching people spawn, killing them over and over in those few positions. The reason I'm making this video today is because, due to talk in the Discord, the update is scheduled to be done by the end of the month and implemented by July 4th, which will highly likely include the patches both for Mirage Prime and Dunes, as well as the new UI update, which is on the test place right now if you want to check it out, as well as a couple new guns. Due to the severity of the changes and just how long it would take considering how big both of the maps are, I'm just going to briefly show a comparison of how the maps look now and how the revamps are going to look, and also point out that the Dunes revamp suspiciously looks a lot like the Dunes that we had in the 2020 Christmas update, which I am also going to show, as well as I am going to link gameplay for in the description below, because the map might end up being extremely similar and very easy to play the same way as the Christmas version, which still did have a little bit of spawn trapping issues in it. As for the newer players who might not be as familiar with spawn traps as other people, Mirage Prime is as easy as it gets. Uh, everything I've shown in the video is basically everything you need to know. You can only spawn trap on Mirage Prime against ghosts. It is physically not possible against phantoms because their spawns were actually spaced out. But Dunes is going to require a little bit more effort Though, after a couple games, I think the average player shouldn't have a hard time figuring out where they're going to need to stand. As for Dunes, I will have my Assault Rifle Top Games playlist linked in the description, and you'll be able to find very many Dunes games with a lot of weapons from both sides of the map to get insights on how to learn to do the spawn trap for yourself. As for the people who have already been grinding this, and maybe the people who don't think that they're done grinding it yet, I'm very sorry if this ends up ruining the Dunes and Mirage Prime scene, and a bunch of randoms end up filling it up and ruining a ton of the games. I'm hoping that because of this video, more people will know, and more people will vote for it before they go away, but if it just ends up ruining all of your attempts, I'm genuinely sorry. Um, I think all the players deserve to know about this before it goes. There are some people who might not believe themselves capable to get 100 kills who will definitely be able to do it on this map. The rest of this is going to be, as of right now, the highest possible pace game in PF history done on Mirage Prime, where in about 5 minutes time I got 99 kills with the person below me getting about 80, which is pace for 292 kills if I were to maintain that exact amount of kills per minute until the game ends. Hopefully this video went a little bit more in depth and explained things better than I've been doing in the past. I'm going to try to talk more, get better at speaking in the videos and actually telling things like they are and not expecting you guys to just know everything that I'm talking about. And, you know, that's it.